as part of the New Mexico Centennial, Centennial Celebration, we are interviewing some of our longtime Sierra County residents. Uh, today we will be talking with Claudine Greider Davis, who lives on the Animus. Thank you, Claudine, for allowing us to come into your home and, and see this beautiful place that you live. I said that you lived on the Animus. Uh, where is the Animus? Kenyon. In relation to Tier C. Oh, it's, it's approximately 20 miles south and west of Tier C. And how far down the canyon do you live about? 5.37 to the highway. Uh, where does Animus Canyon begin? Up in the Gila someplace. And it ends where? In the Cuyola. Uh, what does the word Animus mean? Well, I was told it was for the lost animal, but uh, since then I've heard it was something else, so I don't know what it is. Well, I've heard it was the lost souls. It means the lost soul. Really? Maybe it meant lost animal souls. Do you see any lost souls around the river? <laughs> uh, who are your parents? Veda and Ernest Ryder. And when did they come to Sierra County? In 1946. Why did they, and where'd they come from? Roosevelt County. In New Mexico? In New Mexico. And why did they, they come here? Well, he had worked on a ranch uh, and a farm combination, and he was a farmer. And the man he worked for had sold his cattle, and he, he wanted to retire, and so he bought this place down here. Was it the same place that you live, or was it close by where you live? It was across the creek. Uh, when and where were you born? In Clovis, New Mexico. And when? 12, 12, 24. And so that would make you how old? 86. Uh, where did you go to school? I started in Floyd, New Mexico. And I don't remember how long I lived there. And then my dad moved out on that ranch. And then I went to school by the name of Dorino. And then it was moved to another school that was called Mesa. And uh, it only went to the fifth grade and then we were transferred to Floyd. And you graduated from? I, excuse me, I mean to the eighth grade. And then I graduated in Floyd, New Mexico. Uh, how many siblings did you have? Two. A girl? And a no, a, a brothers oh. and sisters. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, five brothers. And what was it like growing up with five brothers? Well, that's all I knew, so I guess I didn't think much about it. Did you have to mother them, or did you just... Absolutely not. They told me what to do and when and how. <laughs> do they still? <laughs> well, all of them's gone but one. I mean, my youngest brother. Did uh, did they uh, expect you to work right there with them, or or do the cooking, or what? Well, I did both. I worked with them in the fields, and I milked cows, and I rode horses, and I also 
cooked and washed and ironed. <laughs> Five pair of Levi's every so often. When and why did you come to the Animus? When did you come? In 46, in May. Of 46. And why did you come over here? Because we had to move from the place we were at. And so I come down here. Now you married uh, a fellow by the name of Bob Davis. Robert Lehman Davis. And we married on May the 16th. Uh, what did Bob do for a living? He was a heavy equipment operator. For anybody around here or what? All over the country. He worked for Guy Martin. And later he worked? At the uh, stallion sites for the government. And where, where is the stallion site? It's east and uh, south of San Antonio, New Mexico. Is that where the atomic bomb, close to where the first atomic bomb went off? Mm -hmm. And he were, he did construction there? Yes. Did he drive back and forth yes. every day? Every day. How many miles would that be? About 150? Not hardly, but close. That's quite a commute every day. Uh, when did Bob pass away? June the 4th in 93. So you've lived here several years by yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think you were by yourself quite a bit with him being on construction. That's right. That's right. And moving around. 